Good morning, Bethany family. This is Pastor Rick Sweeney with uh, this weekly prayer. Um, as I sat back and thought about things that are going on now, there's just so much um, that, that's happening right now. We've got schools um, getting underway and ready to get underway. We've got Christian uh, education ready to begin here at Bethany with a confirmation and with adult Bible study and with um, some youth studies and um, Bible school. Um, we've got um, a lot of social justice issues, uh, once again, in the forefront with the shooting of, of Jacob Blake. Um, we've got an election going on, which is certainly causing a lot of division uh, in our country. We've got a pandemic that we're still um, working through. And of course, we have Hurricane Laura, who's hitting land today, um, and I'm sure causing a lot of destruction. Um, so there's, there's a lot going on. We've got anxiety. We've got division. Um, we've got destruction. Just so much going on in, in this life. And, and the fear uh, with the, the pandemic, of course, too. And so as I thought about all these things, and um, I, I thought about this passage from Galatians chapter 1, verses 3 through 5, that I'd like to read for you. Um, Paul was addressing the Christians in Galatia, and as he did so, he wrote these comforting words. Hear the word of the Lord. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins to deliver us from the present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. A beautiful prayer, really, by Paul to uh, the people in Galatia. Um, he said that Jesus was delivered over um, for this present evil age to save us from this present evil age. All of these things that are happening that I mentioned, this uh, fear, anxiety due to the resuming of school in the pandemic, the um, you know division that we have in our country uh, over social uh, justice or social injustice, and a division in the election, and, and um, destruction that takes place. It's all a result of sin. It's all um, really evil in this world. And so what I'd like to do now is to uh, take a moment to have us bow our heads and pray to the Lord, asking him to deliver us from this evil as we pray in the Lord's Prayer. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Dear God, you sent your son to battle Satan and evil. He faced Satan in the desert and in his ministry. In his passion and resurrection, he gave his life to conquer them and their power. Fight for us now in our battle with evil. Protect us daily from the assaults of evil, sin, the devil, and this fallen world, especially in these days when so much is in chaos and turmoil as we deal with the pandemic and, and civil unrest and division with the election and, and various um, natural disasters. Lord, you are our only hope. Grant us courage to face each day, knowing that the cross of Christ goes before us and your holy angels protect us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Bethany, remember the Lord goes before you. Uh, he's with you always. He'll never leave you or forsake you. And with him on your side, you have nothing to fear. God's peace as you uh, head into this weekend.